the last night's game. Just to get back to our structure. Um, you know, it was one of those games last night uh, out of everybody. And uh, we just wanted to get back to our structure and, and just try to answer the right way. When you look at Michael Delzato's game, what did that tell you about the, his ability to bounce back? Yeah, it's a good step for him. He, he's going to go through those uh, uh, situations where he's trying to do too much. Uh, but I thought he, he you know, he hung in there. I mean, he's still just a kid, and he's going to have these uh, situations. But I thought he did a really good job tonight. What is it about this team that responds so well in these back-to-backs? Well, I. First thing I look at uh, is our conditioning. Mm -hmm. I, I think our guys did their work, uh, and it's not so much during camp, it's during the summertime. Uh, that's where they make their gains as far as their conditioning. And I think they, we have a good group of guys uh, the past couple of years that have come into camp in very good shape. And mm -hmm. I think that helps in these type of situations. I, uh, I, I think that's one of the most important points. And, and you'd like to think they're, they're, we're developing a little bit of mental toughness and, and trying to grind through and stop the bleeding after a game uh, like last night. So uh, you don't want to play like the way we did last night, but you come back with a good, solid, and I thought really good defensive part of the game. I thought we defended really well, uh, and you came away with a pretty good win. Talk before the game about Steph and Sauer both being guys who would just handle this as another NHL game, but obviously after they get to, you know, meet the family and everything. How good is it for those guys to be able to Well, like for young guys to be able to play, I'm not sure how many family members are here, but they're young kids uh, just starting in the league here. And, then, you know, it's good stuff after. I don't think they're... Uh, especially those two, uh, with the maturity that they have, they worry about you know what's going on out there. But after a good win, coming back home, I'm sure they feel pretty good about it, and they'll enjoy themselves with their family for 20 minutes, and they get on the plane. Did you, did you get any sense that Gabby and, and uh, Derek had any more Bugard? I'm talking about had any more jump today because of it? Or well, I thought have... Boogie played well. I, I thought it was one of his better games today. Uh, he was involved in a in a goal there, I forget whose goal it was, where he hits the guy, him, Abe's, and Artie. We just put them together, right. yeah. And uh, th I thought that was a big shift for him. He did some good things on the wall. And I thought Gabby was more engaged. Uh, I know, I know they're both nervous. Uh, probably Gabby more than Boogie. Uh, but I thought they played very well. And I thought they I thought they both tried to play away from the puck, too, especially Gabby. What prompted you to shake up the line? Maybe? We're, we're stale. Artie's line was stale. Uh, it... it uh, and I was thinking about a couple other things. I didn't do it. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where all the lines going to shake up when we play our next game. But I just thought uh, uh, Artie's line was stale the past few games, and uh, along with other things. But we uh, we found a way. We found a way to score some goals, and we get a win. You, you've talked repeatedly about establishing a, a team identity and what kind of team you want to be. Is what Brandon Trust did tonight pretty much spot on? Yeah. What, what you want to be? Yeah. You, you know. You. you there's your foundation. Uh, you see, I think Brandon Prust has kind of uh, pushed open the door and wanting to be part of the core of the team here. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at him, you look at a Ryan Callahan, you look at a Dubinsky, how he has uh, grinded and done all the things that we've asked him to do, and, and, and just their age. Uh, that, that's, that's what we're trying to be as a Ranger team. And, and you had the other kids in the back end. Again, I just think we're heading in the right direction. I know you guys hate hearing me, you know, you're sick of hearing me say that, but I do. I think we're going in the right direction, no matter if we have some bumps in the road along the way. This is some good stuff with our kids. Well, I'm also just talking about the fact that Brandon doesn't look like he can straighten yeah. his leg. At this yeah, point. once we heard it wasn't structural, he, you know, he, uh, he's a different cat. He, uh, uh, he just, uh, you know, he has a nice little role with this hockey club right now where, uh, He's earned his way, and I just don't think he wants to be out. And I think once he found it wasn't structural, he just worked through it. How important was the way that Marty stood in there for the first you know, little flurry of the game where the ball was yeah. getting some stuff going? Yeah, he, he, when he's on, you can see he settles the team down, too. He's just so, it, it, you can see, it just hits him. It just hits him, and, and I think that uh, some of the saves he made, when, especially early on there, some of the saves he made, I think it settled our team down, just in the style that he plays. So uh, good for him, good for him. He's, uh, he's been a key guy, you know, uh, uh, not only playing games as a backup, but winning. And uh, that's important for a team that's going to be fighting all year long to try to get in. Your backup has to win, so he's done a pretty good job so far.